Vincent Tate is proud of his 31 years at the Social Security Administration, but he and hundreds of other black male employees are part of a long-standing employment dispute with the federal agency. The agency is missing out on the contributions of African American males at headquarters because of some long-going perceived thought that uh, it's an inferior group of people. The battle is over promotions and worker compensation. Social Security admitted no wrongdoing in 2002 when it paid black male workers $6.3 million in a settlement with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. But civil rights attorney Kathy Harris says the agency breached that initial agreement by not changing its policies and practices. The black men weren't getting those increases. Attorneys for the African American workers filed another complaint in 2007 with the EEOC. Harris says in a 2016 response to the complaint, the agency cited social science research claiming black men, they said, are not performing as well at work because they come from disadvantaged backgrounds and went to not as good schools and they grew up poorer. Workers asked Maryland Congressman Elijah Cummings to intervene, writing, SSA continues a legal fight against its African-American males, relying on overtly racist arguments to justify its actions. This is a federal agency making these statements about its employees. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's demoralizing and depressing. How can we try to drive that agency to some balance to invest its resources in service rather than continue to fight equal employment issues? The Social Security Administration will not comment on the pending complaint, but does say it is committed to equal employment opportunity for all and makes employment decisions, including promotions and awards, consistent with merit systems principles, regardless of race, sex, color, national origin, religion, age, disability, sexual orientation, or any other non-merit factor. Correct the problem. Don't deny that there's a problem there. Still unsettled 10 years later, the workers are pushing to get it resolved soon. For the 11 News I team, I'm Barry Sims. And the office of Congressman Cummings tells us he can't get involved. Policy dictates members of Congress do not interfere with cases that are being litigated. And in a companion breach of settlement case, the EEOC ordered Social Security to pay 2,000 black male workers $2,300 apiece. The SSA can appeal.